Humans have always fantasized about humanoid robots, but it's always remained that, a fantasy. Not until Elon Musk announced his Tesla bot at Tesla's AI Day in August of 2021. Now, what existed in the realms of sci-fi movies and other manifestations of fantasy is about to become a reality. Say what you want about him, but Elon Musk is no stranger to pulling off groundbreaking engineering feats like reusable rockets, electronic vehicles, and brain-interfacing integrated circuits, among others. But creating a humanoid robot? One might wonder if Musk isn't overreaching himself this time. As always, an army of naysayers believes that Musk is pissing in the wind. So we might have to wait to see if he proves them wrong once again. In the meantime, let's look at what we know about Tesla's robot. So what does the Tesla bot look like? Like most modern robots, the Tesla bot is equipped with artificial intelligence. However, unlike most real-time robots, it's a bipedal machine with a black face and a white body and designed to carry out tasks autonomously. Musk has named the Tesla bot Optimus after Optimus Prime, the name of the lead character in the Transformer franchise. But unlike its counterpart in the movies, the Tesla Optimus stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 56 kilograms. So while the Tesla bot won't be able to transform into a hot car or a bike, it is designed to traverse our world and perform a range of tedious and maybe even dangerous tasks. Tesla Optimus won't win any spirit races as its maximum speed will be 5 miles per hour. But I believe it could put some work in in the gym as it is expected to perform a full deadlift of up to 150 pounds with outstretched arms. It will also have hands that are similar to ours as the engineering team plan to install about 40 electromechanical actuators in its joints. There will also be a screen on its face that displays information. The idea behind Tesla's Optimus is to design a state-of-the-art robot that will not be out of place in both industrial and domestic environments. That is why it's made of lightweight material and will use Tesla's full self-driving computer, cameras, AI routine, neural nets, object recognition, and simulations, among many other things. Optimus is designed to handle a range of usage scenarios, and Musk believes that Optimus will most likely provide answers to labor shortage issues. Unlike humans that need to eat and sleep, Optimus doesn't need any of those and will be able to put in long hours of work and guarantees little to no downtime. The best part about Optimus is that it won't need radiation protection if it's deployed in hazardous areas. What critics think about the Tesla bot? There are widespread opinions that a humanoid form is not the best form for a robot. Several robotic experts believe that the best way to make robots is to make them specific to their intended tasks. Say, for instance, you need to lift heavy things or perform laundry tasks. The best robots are designed to precisely execute these tasks and nothing else. Kind of what the specialized robots at some factories do. By this logic, a humanoid robot is essentially a general-purpose robot. And if I might add, it is a jack-of-all-trades and a master of none, and so wouldn't be as effective a robot. Another point of conflict is articulation. Let's look at Musk's promise that the Tesla bot will have human-level hands. To a lot of experts, that claim is eye-roll-worthy, because the average human hand has at least 3,000 touch receptors. In tandem with the brain, these receptors allow us to handle things appropriately, e.g. carry delicate things like eggs without smashing them. Then there is the weight distribution that the spinal cord lends to the human body. Without this, there are specific movements that we would be unable to achieve. Sadly, humanoid robot makers have not mastered weight distribution or flexibility in robots. The battery life of humanoid robots is another issue that critics of the Tesla bot harp on. And I would call this a valid point, because a robot without a long-lasting battery won't stay up for long. Would you want a robot that can't stay powered for long? I wouldn't. Sadly, most robots are powered by lithium-ion batteries, and they last only about two hours, which is the same amount of time needed to charge it fully. There's also fears about privacy risk with humanoid robots, since they're linked to several aspects of someone's life, especially because they're designed to be semi-autonomous. That is a lot of criticism, but there's good news about the Tesla Optimus. Robots come in neck-up and neck-down categories. Robots in the neck down class focus on robot kinematics, while those in the neck up category are designed for interaction with humans. Tesla Optimus will blend both categories, using a back end to front end approach based on Elon's ASIC, application specific integrated circuits, everything concept, where circuits are built explicitly for specific applications. 
And as far as having specific applications that can facilitate humanoid robots, Tesla has a lot. Because unlike other robotic companies that use multi-purpose processor chips, Tesla uses technology specific to the use cases or systems related to developing Tesla Optimus. One of such technologies is the Tesla FSD chip used for its self-driving feature in Tesla cars. There is also the Dojo Supercomputer that offers enhanced computing power that will significantly improve computer vision, machine learning, and neural networks. So the Tesla bot will have higher capabilities, like a brain of sorts. It would be able to adapt, recognize, and navigate around objects. Here's the exciting thing. The Tesla bot will have a personality, as Musk states that the fully developed versions of Optimus will have real personalities. But the good news is that the owners get to mold this personality to their tastes. That way, the Optimus in their possession will be a perfect match for whatever environment the owner wants. So, if it is used in domestic settings, it will have a personality that puts people at ease as a friendly neighbor would. On the other hand, an Optimus working in an industrial setting like a warehouse or a factory will be programmed to align with its workplace environment. Now, since the Tesla bot is developed to handle these repetitive and boring tasks that we hate to do, maybe a humanoid is not such a bad idea after all. So, a Tesla bot can be pretty handy for tasks like taking out the trash, grocery shopping, taking in the groceries from the car, folding washed clothes, or even arranging plates in a sink. So, if you were getting a robot for such tasks, would you prefer some shapeless machine to a bipedal one with a humanoid shape? Now, about the battery. Indeed, lithium-ion batteries can negatively affect weight balance. Thankfully, there are alternatives like biomorphic batteries that are believed to produce more energy than lithium-ion batteries, up to 72 more times. The best part about biomorphic batteries is that they store energy uniquely and can help with the weight balancing issue. And for those who have fears about privacy risks and whatnot, Musk has given us his assurance that the Tesla bot Optimus will be completely safe. It will not be a real-world version of the Decepticons in the Transformer franchise, nor will it be a Terminator that blows everything away if there are issues with its AI circuits. The Tesla Bots and the Future So what potential does Tesla's Optimus have for the future? Well, going by what we have heard so far, Optimus has nearly unlimited potential. And indeed, there are strong identifications that we will see Optimus at work within Tesla factories because it's an excellent fit for automated assembly. They will be able to move components easily around in the same way human workers do. They might even be able to crack jokes and do high fives, too. In my opinion, deploying Optimus to Tesla factories will serve as a test run of sorts before the robots are sold out to prospective owners. Going by the specifications I have found out about the Optimus and its ability to blend into different human environments, I believe they can be deployed as part of crime control, policing civil protests or other law enforcement capabilities. Kind of like what we see in movies like iRobot or other sci-fi movies. One other thing. Do you think the Tesla robot will be perfect for space travel? Well, I do. And I can imagine Musk developing Optimus to perform tasks on the Moon, Mars, or any of the other planets we've not yet visited once Tesla can get it to full operational capacity. And it makes sense, doesn't it? With the Optimus, there won't be any need to worry about radiation, food, water, or even breathable air. If you are in doubt about Optimus's potential, here are Musk's words. Quote, I suspect Optimus is going to be more valuable than the car long term. It will turn the whole notion of the economy on its head. End quote. So what do you think about the Tesla bot? Do you think Musk can pull this off? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching.